Here are the funniest and most embarrassing moments caught on live TV. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on to make sure you never miss a video. All right, let's get started. During a news segment about a woman who incredibly survived a lightning strike, things didn't really go to plan. Thankfully, CPR from her mom revived her heart, but she laid in a coma for two weeks, and then she defied all odds and woke up. Well, obviously, there was a problem with that tape. She doesn't really sound like that. She doesn't remember the accident, but the evidence is clear. Late night snack cravings happen to the best of us, but this guy took it a little too far when he broke into a bank to use their microwave and heat up a Hot Pocket. You did that for a Hot Pocket? Yes. Oh, that's for a Hot Pocket. You broke into a bank for a Hot Pocket? Hot Pocket. Hot pocket. Was it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. A hot pocket? Hell yeah. When a news channel played the wrong clip over the segment the anchor was reading, it got pretty embarrassing. Great news regarding Bill's tight end, Kevin Everett. He moved his arms and legs today. And doctors now believe that's the, wrong, that's the wrong video, by the way. That is not the right video. When Rich DeMiro was advertising a pair of wireless headphones on live TV, the host passes a comment about AirPods, and it got hilariously awkward. If you have an Android phone, these are definitely something that's going to give you a similar experience. Back to you. All right, thank you so much. I do really like the AirPod Pros, though, and it's for the noise canceling. So the noise canceling is, like, number one priority for me. All right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Also in your consumer news. <laughs> when congratulating a blind contestant during American Idol, the host seemed to forget a pretty crucial aspect of being blind. See where it goes, I'm pumped. <laughs> As you should be. Well, I'm giving you a high five. Congratulations, there it is. Matt Stutzman managed to take first place in archery during the Paralympics. However, the whole medal interaction was hilariously awkward. The Portuguese Navy took to live TV to present their new drone that would help on both land and sea. There was a slight problem, though. Apesar de a estreia não ter corrido como previsto. We all know how awkward it can get when you don't know whether to push or pull on a door. Well, for this FBI agent, it was a little more complicated. FBI agents, parts of the Terrorism Task Force, NYPD, converged on that apartment building. Now, the media had been knocking on her door since early this morning. In fact, we were here out. When put on the spot, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg accidentally let out his secret. But it is going to bother you because you're human. And, and I was human. I am human, still. Um, <laughs> but, um... But, it, but I was just referring to myself in the past. Um, not that I... Computer technician Guy Goma went to the BBC for a job interview, but was accidentally mistaken for Guy Cooney, a music industry expert who was going to be answering questions live on TV. Goma handled it like a champ and hilariously went along with it. So what does this all mean for the industry and the growth of music online? Well, Guy Cooney is the editor of the technology website uh, News Wireless. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning. Um, with regards to uh, the cost that's in, in, involved, um, do you think uh, now more people will be downloading online? Uh, actually, if you can go everywhere, you're going you're to see a lot of people downloading uh, to the internet uh, and the website, uh, everything they want. It's much better for the development and uh, to improve people what uh, they want and to get uh, on the easy way and so fast uh, the things they're looking for. Reporters do their best to conceal the fact they're reading off a teleprompter. However, it's important that there are no punctuation or grammar mistakes, otherwise this happens. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. Dana is off tonight. He was murdered and then set on fire while celebrating his birthday. Singer Beyonce wanted to let one of her fans join in at a concert. Safe to say, this fan won't be getting a record label anytime soon.
When Jay Leno was interviewing students to test their general knowledge, things didn't go too well for this girl. How is the school system in Arkansas? It's awesome. It's good. Mm -hmm. right, let's, see how, really good. let's see how good it is. If you met some people from Denmark, what, are they, what would they be called? Denmark. A group of people from Denmark would be called... Jewish people. Jewish people. <laughs> What started as a regular interview took a turn for the worse, leaving this journalist in a pretty uncomfortable situation. Let me tell you my name. Uh, I'm confused because uh, I'm a nobody. You understand? So why am I afraid? I'm not afraid. I'm afraid of the boogeyman. Who's the boogeyman? You figure it out. <clears throat> I'm not going to raise my voice. Lip syncing is something that a lot of artists actually do, but most mask it pretty well. The same can't be said for this singer, though. After this air, they announced that she was indeed singing and the mic was just double sided. Yeah, sure. During a popular Japanese game show called Brain Walls, contestants attempt to create a shape with their body in order to get through the hole in the wall. Well, one of the contestants' techniques was rather, um, interesting. Things got pretty awkward when the CEO of Google was being questioned by the Congress. It seemed to turn into a tech support for the congressman. How does that show up on a seven-year-old's iPhone who's playing a kid's game? Congressman, uh, iPhone is made by a different company, and so, you know, I mean... Uh, I, it I might have been an Android. I, it's just, it was a hand-me-down of some kind. Uh, ABC News anchor Natasha Exelby was caught off guard while doing a live report. She was sadly fired by the company for her innocent mistake. Melanie Vukovic, ABC News, Mount Sylvia. <sighs> Now to sport with Meredith Sheehan. Presidential speeches are usually meticulously planned down to every minor detail. Well, when Trump was getting ready for his press conference, he was unaware that the cameras were already rolling. And we all got to see some behind-the-scenes footage. Uh-oh, I got a pen mark. Anybody have any white? Do you have any white stuff? Do you see it? You don't see it. Which side is it on here? It's on the right side. It's fine. Just bring it your phone. You can bring the mic check? Yeah. Which of these live TV moments was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel with notifications on to make sure you never miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.